नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू चैनल सिंपली फायर स्पेस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी सम ऑफ माई वेरी फेवरेट किचन टूल्स दैट हेल्प मी एक्सटेंसिवली इन मेकिंग द टास्क इजियर एंड सेविंग प्लेंटी ऑफ माई टाइम विदाउट दैम इट विल बी अ टॉल आर्स टू अकॉम्प्लिश द किचन रूटीन स्मूथली Sometimes we make mistakes while buying them. In today's video I shall recommend only those kitchen tools which I have used personally and found useful over significant time. So let's get started. First I will show you a vegetable peeling knife which is very useful in everyone's kitchen. It comes with a serrated edge. There are many types in the market but I like this type of vegetable peeler the most. It peels all the vegetables very easily. I got this peeler from IKEA and I'm very happy with it. It also helps shred the cabbage finely. It definitely makes vegetable peeling a breeze. This is also another type of peeler which comes with a zigzag edge. This too is very useful. If you like your vegetables cut in julienes, then this instantly shreds your vegetables thinly. Whether making noodles, spring rolls, or egg rolls, you can get thin sliced vegetables for that, which is very difficult to cut with your hands. But this knife cuts any vegetables into julienes very easily. Definitely a highly recommended tool. Vegetable julienes is ready so let's prepare an egg roll for myself and along with it keep looking at the products Next comes this measuring cup There is plenty of variety available in glass or plastic It is definitely very helpful for baking This Pyrex measuring cup in glass is quite a popular and good quality product. You can use your preferred scale of ml, ounce and cups. Apart from this, this steel measuring cup is my favorite. And I find it very helpful. It has a handle on the side, it is very lightweight and it is made of stainless steel. So there is no fear of breaking. It is also dishwasher safe. I use it almost daily to beat eggs while making omelets or to prepare chila batter. We use such whiskers to beat or whisk anything. This size is the most popular. But if something has to be whisked in a small quantity like one or two eggs or curd, then this small whisker comes in handy and is so convenient. Next comes the mixing bowl. I have two types. I would advise you to always buy bowls having outcurved edges. If you wash anything in it, it will not get stuck and will come out easily. On the other hand, if you take a bowl of this type which has these type of edges, removing items and cleaning can be difficult. While washing, pulses or rice gets stuck in it due to which your time gets wasted. Keep the functionality in mind and with that mindset it is likely that items will last forever. Many new home makers have to repeat their purchases for the lack of functionality in equipment and yes that has happened to me as well when I started setting up my home a decade back. Wow, my egg roll is ready. Now let's go ahead. My next favorite is this milk frother which is made of steel. It has a presser on the top which helps in making froth. You can make wonderful and frothy coffee with its help. Just pour hot milk in it and press it up and down in this manner. In just a few seconds a lot of froth will be made in milk. Wow, a lot of froth. Now if you want add coffee decoction to it. 
and press once again so that the coffee and milk mix well. And restaurant style frothy coffee is ready in no time. Very nice. You can also make cold coffee in it. Process is the same. Just use chilled milk instead of hot milk. In a few minutes, you will get delicious frothy cold coffee ready. My next favorite are these ice cube trays. Now you will say what is so unique about the ice cube trays. So this one is made of plastic under which a silicone lining is given. And this one is made entirely of silicone. I use it to freeze a lot of things. Like I make extra coriander mint chutney and freeze it in ice cube trays. When it freezes, it looks something like this. Because there is a silicone liner at the bottom, they can be removed easily by pushing lightly. And I put these chutney cubes in a box and keep them in the freezer. In the same way, I have prepared ginger garlic paste and onion paste for tadka. By freezing, they last for many months and they are used for making quick meals. In the same way, this silicone honeycomb design tray is also very helpful. There is ice in it and the ice cubes come out easily. In this too, I prepare and keep onion and ginger garlic paste. Both types are helpful. Now if I want to make a sandwich etc, I immediately take out two chutney cubes from the freezer and keep them to thaw. The egg roll and coffee were excellent. So let's prepare a sandwich now and we will spread this chutney on it. I spread the chutney on both the slices and added vegetables of my choice. Now we have to add cheese. This type of grater is very helpful for grating the cheese. It also comes with a handle for a comfortable grip. And after use, it can also be hung comfortably. You can also grate paneer or potato to make the filling for sandwich or paratha or to grate ginger for making tea. Small tool but very helpful. Let us toast the sandwich now. Sometimes difficulty comes when flipping a sandwich or omelet. There is a fear of breaking them while flipping. For that, this spatula tong is very helpful. This is a very smartly designed tong. It holds the sandwich well and does not let it slip while flipping. So yes, this is my favorite tool. Sandwich is done, now let's cut it. I am using this pizza knife for cutting. If we cut a sandwich or vegetable roll with a normal knife, sometimes it does not cut properly. But because the pizza knife has such a round cutter, it cuts the sandwich smoothly while moving forward comfortably. Wow, the sandwich is cut and now we will keep it on a plate. We'll add some fries also. Next comes this scissor tong. This scissor tong is ergonomically designed and there is absolutely no pressure on your hands while using it. Because its mouth is curved, it holds things well. Wow, sandwich ho gaya ready. And with this, I have my little favorite kitchen tools. Now, let's make one more thing. Garlic toast. For this, I have taken melted butter. I will use this garlic crusher to crush garlic. It is made of steel and is quite strong. Put garlic in it like this and press. Garlic will get crushed and come like this. If you like adding garlic to anything in dal, garlic bread, Chinese dishes or garlic paratha, this smart tool comes in handy for all. Now I have added some pizza seasoning to it. Let's spread it on bread. Now I am using my favorite grater to grate the cheese. 
and to keep it on the air fryer tray I'm using this tong and look our garlic bread is also ready in no time links for all the products shown in the video are given in the description box So these were some of my favorite kitchen tools which help me every day in my kitchen and save me a lot of time. If you like this video then please like and share it. And if you want to see part 2 of it then please comment and let me know. Also tell me which kitchen tool you like the most in this video. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. See you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye bye.